Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you how to undo an action once you are typing into an input form on Access. Um, I'm going to show you an example. I'm in my input form on Access and I have started to type in into my form and I've realised that this is the last record I need to type in but I've already typed in this record. So I want to undo all this without having to actually go into the table itself and delete the record line itself. Obviously you might not want your users to do that. So keep note that this is record ID 36. When I press cancel it refreshes everything, puts it back to no. Now when I open my table, as you can see at the bottom, there is no record 36 so I've undone that action. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you need to be in the design view of your input form. And you're going to want to create a button. Obviously you want this to be a blank button, so as long as you've got some sort of button in there, create a text to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to make it cancel. It doesn't matter what you select when creating the button because we're going to change what the button does anyway. So you're going to want to select the button and go to the property sheet of it. You want to go to the event tab and where it currently says embedded macro on the drop down or on click you're going to want to choose event procedure. You're then going to want to press the three dots and this will open up the VBA side of access. Here you're going to want to type me dot undo and then you can close this side completely back onto your form, save it and close. So now when you go onto your input form and start typing whatever it is you want to you need to fill in your cancel button will now undo all your actions and it will not show on your table. That's as easy as it is, it's very simple, very quick. If there's any or anything else or anything you need help with let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if there's any videos that you'd like me to create to help you, uh, again let me know. And if, you, if this did help you, like, subscribe and let me know. Cheers everyone.